Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Usmita and yet I'm back with a new topic for today. So today I'll be guiding you on selection of appropriate project approach. So let's get started. A good project manager should let their experience and expertise to selection process. Thus offering an educated and unbiased opinion about pros and cons of various projects. After all, you may be the only person with any real project management experience to wait with any decision. Such as, you can offer unique insights into potential benefits and risks of each project. Moreover, you can serve as a useful sounding board for ideas from the executive leadership. Choosing methodologies and technologies. Identify project as either project driven and product driven. Analyze other project characteristics. Identify high level project risks. Take into account user's requirement concerning the implementation. Objective driven or product driven. Product driven project. A project will be create a product. The detail of product are provided by the client. Objective driven project. A project is to meet the objective. The client may have a problem and ask specialists to recommend a solution. Analyze other project characteristics. Will we implement a data-oriented or procedure-oriented system? Will the software be produced by general tool or application-specific? Are there specific tools available for implementing a particular type of application? Is the system knowledgeable based? Is the system to be created safety-critical? Is the system designed to carry out predefined service or to be engaging or entertaining? What is the nature of hardware and software environment in which the system will be operating? Identify high-level project risks. The more uncertainty in the project, the more the risks the project will be unsuccessful. Recognizing the areas of uncertainty allows tech step towards reducing its uncertainty. Uncertainty can be associated with the product process or the resources of the project. Product uncertainty. How well are the requirements understood? The user themselves could be uncertain about what the system is to be done. Process uncertainty. For project under consideration, the organization will use the approach or an application building tool that has never been used before. Resources uncertainty. The main area of resource uncertainty is the availability of staff with the right ability and experience. Take into account user requirement concerning implementation. First, imposing uniform application and technology throughout the whole organization saves time and money at the end of the organization. A client organization often lay down standards that have to be adopted by any contractor providing software for them. Now let's understand the software process model. A number of interrelated activities have to be undertaken to create a final product. These activities can be organized in different ways and we call this process model. A process model of software product is graphical or textual representation of its life cycle. Additionally, a process model may describe the detail of various type of activities carried out during the different phases and the document produced. Speed of delivery, also called as lightweight approaches, emphasizes on the speed of delivery rather than documentation. Now let's understand software process model structure versus speed of delivery. Two completing pressures. One is to make sure that the final product has been robust structure that will be able to meet the evolving needs. Another is to get the job done as quickly as cheaply possible. Structured approach, also called as heavy weighted approach. Step by step method where each step and the intermediate product is carefully defined. Emphasizes on getting quality right first time. It is more time consuming and expensive. End result is expected to be less error prone and more maintainable final system. Some process model included in this videos are Waterfall model, spiral model, software prototype, incremental delivery, agile method. We have already made a detailed video on this topic on our channel. Don't forget to check it out. Even though we have made the detailed video about all the model, we'll give you a basic recap all over again. So what is a waterfall model? It is a classical model of system developed also known as one shot or one thought model. There is a sequence of activities working from top to bottom. It has limited scope of iteration. Spiral model, represented as a loop or spiral where the system is considered in more detail. The distinguishing characteristic features of the spiral models are increment style of development, ability to handle various type of fixes, 
Software prototyping. Prototyping is a working model of one or more aspect of the projected system. The prototype is constructed and tested quickly and inexpensively to test assumption. Goals. Gain knowledge, reduce risks and uncertainties, verify design or implementation approach. Prototype can be classified as throwaway or evaluation. Software prototyping strength. Learning by doing, improved communication, improved user involvement, clarification of partially known requirements, reduced need of documentation, features constant. Now let's understand the weakness of software prototyping. Users sometimes misunderstand the role of prototype. Lack of project standard is possible. Additional expenses can occur. Close proximity of developers. Software prototyping. It would be unusual for whole application to be prototyped. It usually simulates only some aspect of targeted application. For example, there might be a mock-up simulated interaction, partial working model, vertical or horizontal. Let's understand incremental model. This approach breaks the system into smaller compounds. These compounds are then implemented and delivered in sequence. Every deliverer component provides some more functionality to the user as compared to the previous one. Agile methods. Difficult to accommodate change requests in the heavyweight process. Heavyweight process are document driven. Heavyweight process are too rigid. Agile methods are designed to overcome the disadvantage of heavyweight development approaches. The most galling change advocates by agile techniques are iterative development and enhanced interaction with the customer. Extreme programming, XP. Four core values which are the foundation of XP are communication and feedback. Simplicity, Responsibility, and Courage. Extreme programming, some core practice of extreme programming are the planning exercise, small release, testing, refactoring, pair programming, collective ownership, 40 hours week, on-site customer. Scrum, a project is divided into smaller work parts that can be incrementally be developed and delivered over time boxes that are called sprint. Each sprint is typically two or four weeks long. During a spring, an incremental functionality is completed. At the end of each sprint, the stakeholders and the team members meet to assess the increment. Selecting the most appropriate process model. Whenever uncertainty is high, an evolutionary approach needs to be favored. For example, when user requirements are not cleared. When requirements are relatively certain, but there are many complexities, then incremental approach is to be favored. Evolutionary and incremental approach are favored in the case of tight deadlines. For the development of simple and well understood application, waterfall should be preferred. If the development team is entire novice, then even the development of simple application requires an incremental and prototyping approach. Selecting the most appropriate process model. The spiral model would be appropriate if the project is large and it is not possible to anticipate the project risks at the start of the project. If the customer is unsure about some feature of software to be developed, then an evolutionary or agile method would be the best choice. Activity 1. The travel agency needs software for automating its bookkeeping activities. The set of activities to be automated is rather simple and is at present been carried out manually. The travel agency has indicated that it is unsure about the type of user interface which could be suitable for its employees and its customer. Would it be proper for development team to use a spiral model for developing this software? Do comment and let me know in the comment section below. Hope you understood how to choose the correct approach for your project and its success. Do check out our book on project management. The link is in the description. Do subscribe to the channel for new videos on project management related video. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like this video.